Hey everyone, it's Blake. Welcome to episode number five of our Exploring the Seaverse series, uh, where we go through the, all the companies in the Cornellverse and uh, just really look at uh, some interesting ideas to work with with all of them. And that's kind of what we've done thus far in the first four episodes. Uh, we've looked at the SWF, TCW, USPW, and the CWA. Um, and again, if this is the first time you're jumping into the series, what we do is we just kind of go through, look at the roster, um, you know, the company itself, the state of where the company's at, and, you know, maybe spark some ideas uh, if you want to perhaps play a save with this particular company. Uh, or if you're, you know, new to the Seaverse, you don't know anything about these companies, then it can be kind of a fun little uh, process to kind of look at everything involved and see if there's anything that may pique your interest uh, with the roster, you know, events, uh, titles, all kinds of stuff. So we have made it. To 21 CW, and uh, I said before, this is one of my favorite companies because this was probably this is easily one of the longest saves I've ever played in TW. Uh, probably I haven't mentioned before, North of the Border Pro Wrestling was one of the longest, but it was just so easy uh, again because you were just putting matches together, and I could usually play that one longer. But this is one I was just I don't know why it was probably I think it was TW 2013 that. I played just a long, long save with this company, and I loved it. Uh, the roster, a little bit different now as we're going to get to, and I'll kind of tell you why maybe I don't find 21CW as appealing as it used to be, but uh, there's a lot to like here. So let's jump in. Uh, it is 21st Century Wrestling. You're fourth in the world, so you're behind the big three of the SWF, uh, TCW, USPW, of course, which is number one on that list. Uh, we got 7.5 million to work with, so that's all. This is very appealing. You got 100% momentum. Like you cannot have any more momentum right now than you have at the moment. So these are all things that are excellent uh, to work with here. And if you kind of look at the the narrative uh, to work with, which we always kind of do this, if you you know if he wants to give you some idea for a, a storyline or a save or something, but um, you know Jeff Nova has been the man. I mean he has he has pushed uh, this company into a new stratosphere. And, um, you know, sports entertainment, we'll talk about the product in a minute. Obviously, that's a big part of it. And, you know, a cultural institution. I love that phrase because that's pretty much what it is um, in Britain here is you've got a company that is the company and there's a lot of excitement. Um, it has become the it thing uh, in, you know, Britain. And that's kind of what, you know, you, you can use here to kind of move forward with this company. So, that is kind of, you know, where you're at. And, of course, size-wise, we talk about it being the, the IT company, 80 popularity um, across, you know, the British Isles here. So, you know, you've got that to work with. Elsewhere, um, you know, some of the things you can look at, obviously, USA, Canada, Mexico, uh, Japan, not much there. But you've got a little bit in Europe, um, Oceania, not much in India. But um, that can be something, again, you can play with if you want to you know, be able to expand into a large company, which you would need, you know, big size and 71 throughout uh, the regions of Europe. So that can be a goal uh, to play with with 21CW. And again, you've got the money to work with here with $7.5 million and all the momentum on your side. So that is something uh, that I do find appealing. Like I said, I'll, I'll kind of explain in a minute why maybe the roster is not as appealing, but I don't want to knock this company because this is one of still one of the ones that, I have a soft spot for, uh, but you know, that's kind of where you're at, uh, in terms of just the overall view of the company. Like we said, classic sports entertainment. So you're WWE esque, uh, you're the WWE of Britain here and uh, the UK. So that's kind of what you're looking at, uh, here as, you know, your, your usual sports entertainment style. Like again, if you played with WWE, you played with some of these other companies, all this stuff, the settings and everything is pretty much the exact same. Uh, you don't have a women's division. That's worth noting. Your match focuses, your angle focuses, they're regular, as you would expect with this product. So, um, again, you know, if you're wanting variety, uh, it's just to get this is just your sports entertainment. So, you can certainly tweak it the way you want uh, if you do decide to run with this company. But, like I said, if you're interested in a women's division, you can either go into it looking at two, one of two ways. Either I don't want to play as this company because they have no women on the roster, or you can be, you know, known for the person that brought in the women's division. So um, there's there's different ideas you can work with on that. All right, let's look at um, the events and TV schedule, which is always important. Weekly two-hour show, the best of British wrestling every Thursday. And, um, you know, a, a very a big show based on the fact that, like, this is your, your prime wrestling show 
throughout the country here. Um, so that's kind of what you have to work with. So a two hour show, again, feels very WWE esque. If you're, if you're used to doing that, you know, you're, you're raw here uh, is basically what this is and not to be confused with the raw that we'll talk about eventually in terms of a TW company. But, um, so that's your weekly show. Uh, you look at the events. What I like here about the events is I, I always say this with different companies is you have the different themes to work with, right? Steel cage challenge. You can probably guess my, my guess is, uh, you're probably going to hold a steel cage match there in some way, shape or form. I don't love you know pay-per-views that are based around match stipulations but this can be something that's kind of fun to work with here maybe you could even make it you know a war game style or something like that then again you got some others you could do that with but um yeah there's there's some fun stuff now it is worth noting i always point this out in this exploring the seaverse series uh your season finale is going to come in february so if you're starting in january you know maybe you want a little bit longer to build up to your biggest show of the year uh but you know a historic show is world war for 21 CW. And so, you know, that is something too, to kind of to think about if you would rather have one longer way down the road. But again, you can always change this too. You know, it's your, it's your world you're, you're working with here in the Seaverse. So um, you can always change that. So, but that's your biggest show of the year, World War. I like the different shows, you know, head to head. That's an interesting one. The Cornell Cup. Now you don't have a logo here for this one. You have to find one for that, but that's a fun tag team tournament. We'll talk about that more in just a second. Um, you know, we got some other fun ones down through here, partners in crime. I'm pretty sure that is a, yeah. So that's like a, again, a, an all two on two match if the AI was booking it. So maybe you can work around that theme if you want. Um, you got a London show here, you know, it's going to, you have to be held, hold it in Southern England. That's where it's meant to be held. So that can be kind of a fun, uh, show. You can build a theme around, um, I think dangerous alliances. I want to say that's a three V three. Yeah, so if the AI was booking, you know, all trios matches, so that's another kind of fun idea you could have there. Uh, the online onslaught, so you could do a, a Cyber Sunday-esque or Taboo Tuesday where you let the fans vote on the matches, so that's uh, another kind of fun thing. And you've got uh, Wicked here, which is, um, you know, another show you could bring back into the mix that does have a logo. So I like the event schedule for 21CW. I think there's just so many different ideas, again, you can work with. You've got different themes for the pay-per-views. Um, and I think that's one of the appeals to me is just kind of having those different things you can build towards if you want to have a little variety with your show. So, um, yeah, I find it uh, pretty, pretty fun there. So, uh, let's look at the coverage real quick. So you're going to hold your events. Where are they going to be seen? Well, <laughs> they're going to be seen obviously here. Um, you know, this is your biggest coverage of course in the UK, uh, but you do, you know, you do have a little bit of coverage elsewhere and aside from Japan, uh, India and Mexico, but you've got a little bit of coverage elsewhere. So that can be a goal too, uh, a little bit bigger here in the Europe than you do in these other three. But, um, you know, again, you're fourth in the world in terms of, you know, where the standing is for 21 CW. So you can focus on expanding the promotion beyond and maybe getting more TV deals, of course, as you gain more popularity. Uh, in these different regions. So that's another kind of fun goal you could have with this company. Um, and, and yeah, I just, I think that's another kind of appealing aspect worldwide domination, like realistically, like you do, do you want to battle the big three? And I think that will take a while, but that could be a long-term goal and something you could certainly that could push you through a, a year long, you know, multi-year long save is to say, all right, we're going to make this company, not just the number one company in the UK, but in the world. And how are we going to battle up against you know, USBW, SWF, TCW, and all that. So uh, that's a that's a long, long-term uh, proposition there, but it's something you could kind of sink your teeth into if you wanted to. Uh, the usual tag, you know, the usual titles here, you know, you got a world champion, you got a, a, a middle, you know, mid-card title here with the UK title, um, and you got your tag team championships, which are, you know, pretty good prestige given the um, tag team division and all that. And you do have the Cornell Cup uh, because, you know, created by Tommy Cornell, uh, the one and only, uh, during his uh, t run as commissioner for the company, annual tag team elimination tournament. So uh, that is something that can, you know, be fun to put together. So if you're a big fan of tag team tournaments, which I enjoy, that's something else. And speaking of that, you do have a pretty good tag team division here to start with when you look at, um, you know, the experience rankings, which we always like to have some fun with. You got the Martin twins here um that you know 100 on their experience and you go down the list here like we've got a lot of a lot of tag teams that are pretty high up there in terms of their experience so it's a good tag team division to start with so that can kind of build into the cornell cup 
and all those things, um, you know, that you could want to do with some of those pay-per-view uh, themes as well. So, um, yeah, a good group of tag teams. So I like that here with this. All right, before we get into the roster, we're going to look at a couple of other things, as always. And uh, no figurehead, and really there's not anyone um, that is there. I mean, you could put Tommy Cornell, I assume, as the figurehead, but I don't know if that's maybe the direction. You know, again, you can decide to go in on that. Uh, we look at the starting storylines, which uh, we will look at the roster in a minute. But um, you are, you're not meeting, because you need to have five that are 65 or higher as of right now. Uh, you've really only got two. So um, obviously the biggest one's going to be the, the Cornell War here. So if you want to start with that one, Cornell versus Cornell. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that in the Cornell verse. <laughs> so um, so you, you can work with that. But you do have to build up some, some heat here for these storylines. And again, I keep going through this, and I'm like, this is... This is me playing WWE and our WWE save. Like, there's just so many similarities, um, you know, just in terms of how things are um, set up at the moment. So, uh, so there's that. Let's look at the creative section here. Obviously, Tommy Cornell, the one and only. Uh, he is still at the very top, you know, but he's 41 years old now, and you have to probably start to look ahead and wonder, all right, when's he going to retire? But you know, still, I mean, <laughs> you're talking about. This guy here and everything that he's brought to the table, the universe uh, that uh, he is, you know, given all of us here uh, and Mr. Cornell, but the stats are still there. Like he's still just tremendous. So certainly that's one of the biggest appeals I think of, of playing with this company is knowing that he's still there and, and he's made that move now to, you know, this company. And I think that's, you know, something that can really kind of push you forward to, uh, with that. And again, it's just kind of your call on how you want to play that. But, you know, Edward's there too. And, um, I, Edward's someone that I was really just like, when I did my, my save way back when, uh, like I said, I, th I think that was 2013. I may be getting my years wrong, but I mean, I was, I was all in on Edward Cornell. Like he was, he was my go-to and, uh, I just, yeah, he was really fun to book. So, um, then, you know, you, you've got to, you've got Adam and Travers here and I know I'm probably saying that wrong. So it's a fun thing with the C verse. You can say names like, and you're like, you don't know if the pronunciation's right or not, but um, you know, he's up to 40 now too. And, but you know, there's still good stats there. So you have to kind of think about that with your, your top three here. They're all 36 or older, but I mean, again, it's, you're not playing the game probably for retire, thinking about five years ahead for retirements, but that's just something to, to keep in mind. Um, you do have some next big things to work with here. Mark Adonis, um, who's got some good star quality, some good stats here. Uh, God's gift to wrestling, and he's only 23. So, uh, yes, he he could, um, you know, be in a position to lead you forward. Uh, Lee Burton here, uh, who's got some pretty good stats, as you can tell, only, only 27, so he's a little bit higher here. But uh, the British Lion uh, could be a future world champ, it seems. Um, Langton Herring, who looks like a big dude here, and only 19, so he's a powerhouse. Uh, and yeah, so you got a, you got a powerhouse to work with. As you're going to see, there's several of those on this roster. You're wanting some of the, the hosses, uh, what's what I see here. Like when I click on hot prospects, I look down this, I'm like, man, a lot of these guys kind of look the same here, but, um, maybe not as much variety as some may want in terms of just the photos of, uh, the hot prospects, but you've got some different ones here. Uh, Sifu, am I saying that right? Uh, maybe, but, um, you know, uh, 29, so. That's uh, that's something there. You've got Flynn here, who looks like uh, he's going to be a legend, the prodigy, although his star quality is just piss poor. So I don't know why <laughs> he's maybe a hot prospect. His skills are really good, but uh, his star quality is not very great. But uh, we've already looked at Herring here. And then we've got Gravedigger, uh, 25, and he's got a lot of star quality, although the stats, so you can make that a project. Let's get his stats better. But star quality, absolutely there. So... Um, yeah, got to give him a little time to get there, but, uh, all right, uh, let's look at just kind of uh, momentum. If you're interested in that kind of thing, you know, you got some people here who don't have a lot of momentum. Oh, we're going to talk about my two guys here, rolling Johnny stones and Daniel black Francis. They were the cornerstones of my 21 CW promotion when I was running it in that, whatever I said, like I said, I think it was 2013. Uh, but I had a I had a world title feud between these two guys, but they are getting up there in age now, 42 for old rolling Johnny here. And, uh, yeah, he's, his skills are about what I remembered, but, uh, for some reason I thought his star quality was better, but he was someone that I pushed a lot. And 
Uh, I know I pushed Daniel Black Francis quite a bit, and yeah, so he would have you know, he was still been pretty young at that point. But he's got some good stats here too. So if I'm if I'm running with this promotion, my first focus is to get these two guys out of the the slump of the bad momentum. I want to get these two guys out of there. Uh, Kevin Jones too. He's one that's been around I think for a while, hasn't he? Um, when did he join? Okay, yeah. So I think he was. Yeah, I remember using him quite a bit too. He was kind of in that that main event slot because uh, he's still got some good popularity, but not a lot of momentum at the moment. So uh, there's just kind of, a, again, an overview of the creative section. I forgot to point out the stables. Uh, you've got some pretty fun stables to work with here, I guess. Um, you know, some strong stables with an interesting hellbound group here that just abducts people. So if you're into that, you've got the Grave Digger here. Uh, you got Bedlam, Black. I mean, this is a this group looks like a group I would want no part of. Like, I would... I would not want to be near this group. And I, so yeah, they, they look like one that would scare the hell out of me. So, uh, that's some intimidation. You've got the house of business, Edward Cornell leading the way. So a huge, huge part of the company and which you would expect because Edward Cornell is the leader. And you've got three man army here. Um, so another, you know, kind of bruiser type group here that can just really just impose their, their, their strength on people. So, Again, that's kind of the, I like the mix of the roster. You got some, you got some big brutes here, and uh, some guys are gonna just beat the hell out of people, which uh, I'm. It's, it's okay to have that sometimes on your roster. So, um, so yeah, you got like I said, good tag teams, strong group of stables thus far. Um, backstage wise, we need to look at that real quick. Uh, where is that right here? So you know, your backstage is not 100%, um, but 91%. You're not gonna be upset with that. You do have some mildly negative influences kind of across the board here uh, with a, a lot of these guys. Uh, so uh, that's something to keep in mind to see if maybe you know you could have any issues but again that's not really something you're kind of looking at uh, there with that so uh, that is uh, something your training facilities you do have a training facility here the national school of wrestling i don't know if i've done this with all the others but i, I always forget to bring up the training facilities but you do have that so you can certainly make your upgrades if you want to do that um you know you'll get some new wrestlers kind of coming through the the mix there and so uh, you have a training facility to work with. Uh, and like I said, I think one of the other appealing things is just the roster itself, where you've got a mix of the older guys, like we said. You know, I do this on all of these. You look at your major stars, like it is still these three. Um, you've got the two Cornells pretty much. You know, you're, you're building your top storylines around these two at this point uh, because they're in the top storyline. And um, But again, age is something to think about there with that group. Um, but you know, you look at kind of the others here and we filtered it by wrestler just so we look at the the group. So really, you know, Burton's up there. Uh, he's only 27. So he's someone that could still, still a lot to work with, with Burton. Um, so that's something that you can look at too, but really in terms of your major stars and stars, you only got four guys falling in that category right now, but you do have a pretty good group of well-known guys here. And this right here, this is just, uh, <laughs> Harry Wilson, of course, the uh, the younger brother of Dark Angel, who is also in the promotion, by the way, but he is, uh, if you've played the C-verse, you know Dark Angel. Uh, and he is, um, I think, is he a road agent? I think, yeah, he's he's in the promotion, but he's, he's a road agent now. So uh, that is something, too. I don't think he's going to be having any comeback matches, but if you want to go that route, I suppose you could try it. Uh, but there, again, there's a good group here in terms of, like, you've got a good mix of of guys who are, are a bit younger, like, you know, we got Apollo Prince here. Uh, we've got Beast Bantam, uh, the 33-year-old. The Again, another just huge, enormous 6'8", 320-pound guy. Uh, we talked about Bedlam and those kind of guys that are, uh, he, you know, he's the current mid-card champion, 21 CW, UK champ. But you've got a good mid-card uh, here with, like I said, well-known guys that are, you look at their popularity, like we're talking like, you know, 60s, 70s in that range. Um, like I said, a guy like Daniel Black Francis, who I would probably still find a way to to have some fun with in terms of pushing with some different uh, storylines and all that, and um, you know, just just doing some different things there. Faust is still there; uh, he's someone that's been a, a big part of the promotion, became the world champ, all that stuff. But you know, he's also getting on up there in terms of age, so that's something to think about. But this is. I think this is one of the things. Luke Cool. I forgot about Luke Cool. I remember playing. <laughs> I remember he was a part of the the promotion as well when I was playing in the the previous game. So Luke Cool uh, got a great picture. His his photo has improved from 2013. But um, but again, you've got a, a pretty pretty nice group of mid carders here. So that's something else you can kind of look at. 
I think there's a lot of fun that can be had with this group. And again, it's outside of just the Cornell stuff at the top. I think you've just got a lot of, you know, potential there with the mid card and building up new stars for sure, just in terms of uh, looking at it that way. And if we look at the star quality, which I always like to do, I put 70 in. That's just my number I look at. I mean, you've got a good group of guys here that are 70, you know, or above in terms of their, their star quality potential. Um, so, you know, you go through a lot of these different guys and, uh, yeah, you can, again, build off of that. So I, I like, I like the roster. I said earlier, maybe I didn't like the roster as much as I thought I would, but now that I'm going through it, like I'm getting ideas and I do find the roster maybe a bit more appealing than I gave it credit for when I first started, uh, looking through it. I, I I just kind of looked over things before I record just to kind of have a different feel, uh, of where things stood based on the last time I really played a deep save with this company. But now that I'm going through it, I think there's a lot more to like than maybe, like I said, I, I gave it credit for. So, um, so yeah, I think, you know, roster-wise, there's there's a good mix, I feel like. Although, like I mentioned, there are, you know, if you, let's say, I don't know, let's put 35 as the age. I mean, you know, you've got some guys that are getting up there, but it's not really something that, you know, you're pushing out the guys that have been there for a while. Like I said, whether it's a, a Daniel Black Francis, a Kevin Jones, a Rolling Johnny Stones, like those kind of guys, um, you know, they're they're eventually going to be pushed out in the next couple of years. So that's where you can build, you know, the group that let's say is between 19 and 30. And there's a lot, a lot of options here, you know. And like we said, I mean, you've got a lot of different guys. I mean, look at Andrew Lee here. We didn't even brought him up yet. Like 82 star quality, good, solid stats here to work with. And you know, these are people that you can build in kind of the next group of the the next you know generation of 21 cw stars so that's another thing else that, that i find kind of fun uh to think about with this promotion so um as always these are very rambling i i realize that and i appreciate you guys hanging in there because again it is like exactly what the title says it's just me exploring things and just kind of letting my mind goes where it goes with with this and and seeing if there's anything that really catches my eye with these different companies and like i said i, I think I think this is a little more appealing than maybe I thought when I first started and just did my initial overview of it. Um, but you know, there's, there, there's something, a lot of fun storylines. And again, whether it's just, whether it's your love of Tommy Cornell, like that can drive this entire working with this promotion by itself is being able to, you know, basically have Tommy Cornell's retirement tour whenever he decides to retire. Uh, you can, you can have that at your disposal. And, and there's so many ideas to work with, you know, there and, and you know that pretty much anything you put him in, he's so over, his skills are so good that you can you can get a good show rating if you just keep him in the show for multiple segments and matches. Like he's gonna he's gonna deliver. So uh I find that kind of fun there too. So quickly, uh there are no alliances as we know. Um relationships, Scottish national promotions don't give a damn about twenty one CW apparently, but um, we don't care about them. We're going to, we're going to put them out of business. So if you want to do that, you can, uh, but there you go. There's some thoughts on 21st century wrestling, another, you know, kind of fun promotion with a good mix of talent, I think. And yeah, there's, there's a lot to, to work with here. Um, I'm talking myself into it now. Like I'm getting the nostalgia of the 2013 save I had with them. And I'm thinking, all right, let's go. Let's get the promotion going. 21 CW. Um, I'm, I've already got storylines running in my head right now. So, uh, this is what happens every time. But then again, I do this with every, every one of these, like I've said the same thing with SWF, DCW and USPW and CWA. So yeah, it's just, uh, it's the fun of the game, I suppose. But, uh, as always be sure to hit that like button, uh, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I appreciate the great feedback on this series thus far. It's been a lot of fun to do. And look, we still got a lot of companies to go. <laughs> There's still, still quite a few we got to get through, uh, to really, you know, have some fun here and, and see what else we have to work with. So, uh, yeah, there, there's still a, you know, a lot of fun promotions to kind of look at here. And, uh, I just, yeah, it's, this is kind of fun for me to, to go through and really get a better feel of where the promotions are at right now. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where things stand. So, uh, we will now get ready to continue our journey. And that is what we'll do on the next episode, because in the next episode of our exploring, the Seaver series, uh, we will go into MAW, Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. Uh, we will take a look at where things stand for that promotion 
And uh, like I always say, be sure to leave your feedback, your comments. If you've played with 21CW, uh, let us, you know, let everybody know what are your tips and tricks, what's worked for you, what hasn't. And uh, also, if there's anything that's kind of caught your interest while watching this and you're like, oh man, that's an idea I want to work with, let us know in the comments too. That's always a fun discussion. So uh, appreciate you guys as always. And on the next episode of our Exploring the Seaverse series, we will take a look at MAW.